There have been several messages, memes and posts going around claiming to have cures or advice when it comes to defeating or preventing the coronavirus. Dr. Doug Schultz says these are just not true. The first myth is that drinking hot drinks will help kill the virus. Yeah, drinking hot drinks uh, will not do anything to stop the virus. You know, really the virus goes into your respiratory system, so it's not really going into your GI tract. So it really drinking things does not make any difference. You can't raise your body temperature by drinking hot drinks. So it doesn't, that's not going to do that. Another myth is that drinking lots of water will wash away the virus. Dr. Schultz says drinking lots of water will keep you hydrated and is good for you, but doing that along with eating certain foods does not have any effect on the virus. As far as we know, eating any food or taking any kind of drinks or anything does not have any effect on the virus it, one way or the other. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't make it worse or doesn't make it better. He has advice when it comes to certain vitamins and foods as well, saying diet is an important part of a healthy lifestyle, but there's not a magic pill to prevent the virus. Some people are deficient in vitamins, especially vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is important for your bones and that, and so probably good to take a multivitamin every day that has vitamin D. Vitamin C does fight. Um, it does help your immunity, but it's not specifically going to do anything against against this COVID virus, but certainly, you know, taking a daily vitamin, uh, especially vitamin D, vitamin B, um, and certain people, it's not, it's not really a vitamin, but iron, a lot of people are a little bit low on iron, especially uh, women in um, childbearing age. So it, that's another good thing to, to just keep you healthy. He says many of the foods we eat contain these vitamins, especially meats. But if you're on a non-meat diet, you may want to take other supplements. So people that are on a strict vegan diet have to pay more attention to, to getting some of these vitamins because especially B, vitamin B in particular, and zinc is not that much in plants. So you, you have to eat, eat more or take a supplement. Another myth is that taking one fever relieving pill is better than another or that one can harm you if you get the coronavirus. The evidence does not support uh, any issue with taking ibuprofen over Tylenol with, with, if you have fever with COVID. Either, either one is fine. However, there is one point that may actually be true. The hot temperatures we're starting to feel outside may be coming just in time. Many of these viruses, including this COVID virus, uh, which is a coronavirus, are typically cold weather viruses. And so they do tend to dissipate, just like the flu is rampant in the wintertime and then it dissipates when it gets warm. Um, these, these coronaviruses uh, are respiratory viruses, so it may be that they dissipate as well when it gets warm. We, of course, we don't know that yet, but we're getting into April, starting to get warm in Texas. So, you know, I think we all hope that that's the case, but we're just gonna have to wait and see on that. Dr. Schultz says his best advice is to not touch your face because that is one way the virus has spread. So that's why we think hand washing is, is very, very important. I can't stress that enough. Reporting in San Angelo, I'm Sonora Scott.